guys really have food? Sure Welcome do. back to the Walking Dead. <laughs> we'll have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Nice. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny keeps, keeps us motivated, yeah. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does <sighs> anyone else know? I don't know. Barry knows. I remember that. That can't be easy. Kenny Tan might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. I lied to her about it. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was, it an, was accident. an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure yeah. everyone would see it that way. Mm. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Yeah. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where, Where are you from? Grew up in Macon. Grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Andy. Who's running things over there? I... It's a democracy. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kids are our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. I'm not telling them. I don't well, trust these guys. Well, to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's mm. been running the dairy for I don't like as long them. as I can remember, but now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping this shit. Got a crossbow. Those look like the people who made it. Who are they? Fuck you. You knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered or something happens. But let's just wait this out. I don't think we'll fall. Fuck you! Oh, oh! Jesus. What a waste of bullets. Asshole. The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. God. Glad we backed off when we did. St. John Family Dairy. Mm. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Whew. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It is. 4,000 oh, volts? Oh, kids are on the fence. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. <laughs> I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome yeah. to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. 
He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. Mm -hmm. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily keep us focused on survival. Lily keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. She well, was? That's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Bruh. Just Does sign off for a part of the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. What? Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow Maybelle? is sick? Oh. What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. I'll get your fixings for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along? And take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure the place is safe, I think. Here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. No man, things are weird. Okay, talk to Mark. See what's going so on with what Andy, dude. Is this looking like a good place to stay? Oh no, no, no. All right, keep me posted. The picket fence. Oui. Hmm. Pony. Mm -hmm. Pony. Hi. Ah. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Hmm. Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Oh, if us guess? be the first people you've invited up to the fair. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. And Fence electric does the fence walkers? is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. 
We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. <laughs> these generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds mm. easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I haven't moved my chair in these what, three, three or so hours I've been playing for. How's the place look? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Relax. You're not making things any better, Ryan. Ooh. There's got one. some. Got some real good. Ugh. Damn. Please, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. All right. I want to check the arrow though. And pull it. Then here they go. Okay. So I think the light means. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights mm. are out. That means the fence is off, right? It better mm. be. Who do you think he was? Hmm. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> it didn't give me enough options, though. Uh, he's not exactly oh. wearing a nice outfit, is he? Come on. Sure Looks like he's wearing a uh, Daryl sort Once of first this outfit. Is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Well, one of Daryl's first outfits is useless without gas. It's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Now to lay in the inevitable. In the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. Yeah. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Let's move the walker. Of course, it's got a grip. A girl has one. And there's two. You never get used to the smell, do you? No. <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll ask for more to eat after this is done. <laughs> All right, I can suck it up. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think huh. we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. This face. <laughs> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Mm. Oh crap! What the? Mark! Mark! Oh crap! 
I see them all up there. Of course, there's a convenient to this walker. One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Oh, crap. Damn! Get closer! Alright. I died for the first time. What happened? Shit. Can't it's one of the dead we you? pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. Right. Move it. Only two, <laughs> so this should be the last one. This is a somehow another convenient replace walker. Oh, crap! Oh, oh, I'm getting it. Um, oh, come on, the gate's right there. He's, he's gonna catch up. Wait, but, but I was go. Let's get out of here. Crabs. Damn. Who are these guys are after us? And what do we do to them? You know what is suspicious? He said other people came through here and moved on. So maybe these guys, these the guys at these St. John's didn't pay like they keep up there half the deal. Ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here on our property? Oh uh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? Was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's done. Damn, it hurts. Mm, hey, Mark. 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 Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! <laughs> are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. 
We'll have you all sorted out. All right. Must be the what kind enemy. of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. We killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for you to understand. It was a It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Hmm. It could have happened to us in the motor inn. Uh-huh. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is coming. find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Yeah. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. That's yeah. Real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Mm. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing. I love a swing. swings. Just like at my tree house. Come on, Doc. A Why don't swing. you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. A swing. Anytime. We're looking out for you. A swing. <laughs> a swing. Yes. I love swings. <laughs> that thing keeps a fence electrified. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Is that Larry? Can you go in the barn? Let's go in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Yeah. I'll uh, go see Larry. I'd rather talk to Lily. <laughs> Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. <sighs> Shut up. You all bring us to this place. How you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Hmm. Fawn's not gonna agree with Larry. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. And how do you... So... Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes Ow. both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. Oh, so you. don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. That's... You're very sweet. I take it you and... Exactly make up on yeah. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, 
But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Lee, I, no, I, I know go. you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? <laughs> You're a good leader. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it would be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey. Think I'm a little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Oh, shut That's up! Right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Yeah. Now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up. God. Racist, racist man. Alright, let's actually go do some things. Let's take a look about. Let's take a look at the electric fence. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came up. <laughs> Very lucky. There's a saw. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Mm-hmm. Sure would have. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. What's that? Oh. Let's take a look up here. Look at them. They're like waiting. God in the goddamn door. Look at them. Fellas, how you feel, Pete? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your brother. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But mm -hmm. uh, the two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell all these yeah. In the woods. They don't I know. like these guys. <laughs> I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's hit it. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Clementine, come say goodbye. No? Oh, I think she's worried about me. Not good. I need to find a hat. I realized that she lost it. She didn't really give me much information. I just asked when she lost it, and she was like, oh, I had it a couple See, days ago. Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got she is close. like six or something. Actually, no, I think Duck's younger. Soup Express, baby. You love it. The whisper reference. They're trapped. They're cornered. Get them. That's the guardians. <laughs> right. Sneak up to the camp. <laughs> One little inch at a time, maybe. I got a rifle, I got a rifle. You see anybody? Mm -hmm. Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Alright. Careful. Careful, Dan. Careful. 
easy, does it? Open it with the barrel of the gun. Okay. Nothing. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Search the box, look at the launcher. Look at Kel, right now I want to search the box. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Anything in the other box? Empty. Empty. Just lots of empty things. It looks pretty new. Anybody inside? A few sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. It looks pretty new. Anybody inside? A few sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Why do you have to, like, lift his gun up? Examine the save lots box. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> save lots. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Mm. Anything worth taking? No, I should eat eight guys. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> Shopping cart? What's going on? Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Shopping carts are usually loud, so you not think we're a hero or kind of stick a look. Just water. Is there another tent anywhere? Come on. There is not. Okay. And make sure I look at Looks everything. Like expected to be here a while. Yeah. Yuck. I don't need that. <laughs> Can we go this way? Nope. Alright, let's keep looking. Look at the gas can. Anything in there? Nothing but fumes. Shit. <sighs> hmm. Sure there's nothing else in here? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. One of them's kid sized. That's weird. You, you think these guys wouldn't really take kids with them? Um. Oh, I can examine it instead of looking at it. Is from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? Camera. <gasps> Video camera. <clears throat> There's gotta be something on there. There's what gotta be something it? on there. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Ah, oh, shut up. Enjoy this. I wanna actually, oh, he's over here now, so I can go in here. There's a little bag. Bloody bunny. Photo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
let's... Wait a minute. I can examine it. Hey, wait a minute. That's Clarentine's... Oh, okay. Put your guns down. No. I ain't going back. If you tell him, Jolene ain't going back. Okay, Jolene. Hey, oh, she got the save lots. No shooting as long she as works at save lots. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, okay. I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. What Why happened are you here? alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. Oh. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. Oh, God. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. Fuck I did. That's them other people. Big good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String him up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Whoa. God damn it. I, you, you straight you, up murdered that woman. You just. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. No, no, no. She was. She was. She was talking. She was... It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. Mm. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. She was... If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good she idea. She was saying something. Looking for. So, yeah, we head back. Once they she was this, gonna say something about... She was gonna say something about him. Take the crossbow. Nice crossbow. I just have Mark tired using that. <laughs> Jesus. I think she was talking straight facts. I think he's got a psychopath. It was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, damn I decided boy. that we're gonna. You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled right. it, Mama. For for the rest of this, I'm just gonna just gonna wait out this cutscene, and then I'm gonna finally end my very this very long play Terry session. Terry? My husband. Missing me every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Oh. Okay, Ken. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling <laughs> looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, huh? They can't agree on how to run things. We have different ideas about how we should run our group. That's not what I, I that's not what I said to say. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummies empty. Yeah, sure. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. 
I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Mm. Look, I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. The cow? The one is a lassie. Oh. I'll go see the cow. Oh my. My goodness. <laughs> that was very creepy. Alright. Let's go give her a hop. The coyote. 